Hello guys and welcome to part 13 of my rock creation series and in this video um, I'm gonna bake the same normals as I just did in ZBrush by, but instead gonna be using uh, XNormal and it requires me to export the high poly version of this so I want to switch to um, this the highest subdivision level I have and then I'm gonna go to the top and export it out as a high poly like that and um, it says it's merging UV coordinates uh, actually you just notice that we don't really need UV coordinates on a high poly in case you uh, have a situation where you don't have any UVs on your high poly that's not going to be needed anyway it's only on the low poly you need it um, so uh, when that is done um, um, we are almost ready to jump into uh, XNormal but the thing is um, since ZBrush uh, works with these very uh, tiny um, models as we saw in 3D Studio Max um, XNormal is actually also going to complain a little bit about it so what I tend to do in order to uh, make sure that something doesn't go wrong uh, is that I'm gonna uh, blow these models up um, to some uh, more reasonable sizes um, so I'm gonna import um, them both one at a time so let's take the low poly first and I have my um, uh, scale tool selected here and here where it says 100 I'm just going to type in 10,000 um, whoops uh, I can't remember isolation at all I'm pretty sure that was a way to keep these um, tied together so I don't have to type them manually if I actually forgot how it is um, so uh, let's um, zoom out and now we can see this is how the rock looks like um, currently uh, in the low poly version so if you want to compare this um you know the normal uh ue4 guy he's uh, like i think two meters high so you can drag out a cube here and say it's gonna be 200 centimeters so this will be the size of the the rock compared to uh, the ue4 mannequin or you might just have a copy of in him you can drag in and compare but anyway this is what I tend to do um, so anyway uh, with this I'm just gonna export it again um, export and gonna put it in a separate folder I'm actually gonna put it in a sub opt, sub folder uh, here called uh, resized and this is the low poly um, actually I can export it both as FBX or uh, OBJ um, mm, 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 mm. actually I'm just gonna keep OBJ uh, no and then I'm gonna get rid of that and import my high poly There we go, uh, and we're going to do the same. So 
switch to the scale tool, uh, scale it up to 10,000. There we go. Okay, so here we have them linked. I wonder why. Okay, so let's take a look at that. And there we have it. So let's just export that as well. So I'll call this the high poly. Um, export. So to be honest, you don't really need to create a separate folder. You could just overwrite them since um, I'm kind of done inside ZBrush with them, but it's uh, just like to have it a little bit um, separated in case I would need to go back uh, maybe and correct something. Um, so we're just gonna let it export. And in the meantime, I'm just going to start up uh, X normal. So here we have that. And we can actually start off by um, selecting the low poly. So I have something from last time it worked. So we move that one and add um, a new one on the resized at the low poly. And under the high poly, oh, it's not done yet. Anyway, um, we can set up uh, the baking options in the meantime. Uh, so in here, we want to select normal map. And if we check, uh, click on this one, we can see here we have the swizzle coordinates. And here we want to have Y minus, which is the UE4 uh, format. Um, and you can see we have tangent space. Um, so, um, we can just close that uh, one and let it go. Uh, okay, it's uh, hidden somewhere. Oh, there we go. Uh, and then for the ambient occlusion, I don't think to change this. No, um, I don't think so. Um, and I set an edge padding of 32. That's probably a bit too high. I can't remember. I saw some schema somewhere. Uh, so if you have a size of uh, 4096, uh, you would need uh, 32 uh, edge padding. Uh, but I also read somewhere that in case with the uh, Unreal Engine, it should, shouldn't be necessary with that much. So I'm gonna keep it to 16. And um, I want to go to tools and check the rate distance calculator and hit go. And that's gonna come up with uh, some, well, try to figure out how far it uh, it's gonna trace from, I guess. And uh, it requires us to run this for a few minutes, uh, maybe one minute, so you get, um, some good values for for these here, uh, which is eventually going to be, uh, plug in. Um, but actually, I forgot. Let me just um, no. Let's just keep it. So what I tend to do is to let it run for about one minute, and. Um, also going to watch these values if they change um, and um, if they don't change for quite a long time I'm just gonna say okay this is probably good so at this point it seems to be okay so I'm just gonna stop it now and copy results so that's gonna copy the values up to the high definition um, so uh, or maybe it's the low definition here it is um, maximum frontal ray uh, and maximum rear distance. Um, so it's gonna set these values in here. So let's also select the high definition mesh. So remove that one I had from before and select the high poly, the new one. 
and that should actually be it so uh, we should be able to just uh, generate our maps now um, so let's just hit generate and uh, as with the uh, ZBrush it is going to take a little while so I'm going to pause the video while it uh, generates um, but we're just going to have a look at how the normal map looks first and then once it starts working on the AO map I'm going to pause the video. Um, actually, I canceled that because um, I forgot to say where it should generate to. Baking uh, options. I wanted to generate this to, uh, let's see, let's call this um, X normal. X normal. Yep. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, so that was the, the, um, the normal map. And before I end this, uh, I'll pause the video. Let's take a look at uh, the two maps together. So I have my uh, normal map from ZBrush. Uh, that's here. And then I have my, where did it go? normal map um, oops uh, normal map from um, X normal and this is uh, the normal map from ZBrush and this is the normal map from X normal and we can already tell it's quite different um, although i'm not entirely sure about this i think i exported this uh, i forgot to switch the social coordinate to y minus um, but it seems to be the case because this looks uh, um, the x normal thing looks like it's pointing outwards to me at least and this one looks like it's going inwards so I um, have a feeling that I need to switch it um, okay so uh, anyway um, we can see the AO map is generating slowly so I'm gonna return once it's done okay guys it's uh, done and this is what the AO map looks like so let's close um, X normal and jump into Photoshop where we have the, the normal map currently. I actually also want to mention something about uh, the normal maps. Um, but let me just get the AO map. Uh, it's here. This, this is the one that came out of ZBrush and this is the one that came out of um, XNormal so they look actually pretty identical uh, okay and if we again compare the normal maps uh, from Oops, uh, from uh, this is the one from ZBrush and this is the one from um, XNormal. Uh, you, as I mentioned, they, uh, they seem to be flipped. So one way we can flip them manually instead of regenerating them um, from ZBrush is actually to go to the layer, this uh, layer zero. This is the one from ZBrush. And then we can go into the channels and switch to the green channel and press control. I to invert 
uh, and then switch back to layers and and here we can see the, the difference between these two maps so this is the one from ZBrush and as you can see it's not as pronounced as this one from um, X normal so um, yeah it's just something uh, worth uh, noting that um, it seems the normals we get out of uh, X normal appears to be more pronounced, uh, more crisp, and the ones we get out of ZBrush. Um, so, uh, but anyway, uh, here we have them both. Uh, and what I'm going to do is to um, take this map here, which I just inverted, and I'm going to save this one as... Um, I'm actually going to save it on top of the existing normal here from from ZBrush. So um, and I might want to get rid of this one. There you go. Um, so that's uh, the normal and the AO maps. Um, so in the next video. Uh, we're going to take a look at how we can bring this into Unreal Engine and uh, see how it, it starts to look. So uh, I'll be seeing you in the next. So then, bye bye.